Well, we see them more and more construction cranes piercing the Philadelphia skyline, and we wondered what it was like working high in the sky in the cab of one of those tower cranes. Probably terrifying, oh, yeah. right? So we set our sights on the highest one in town at the top of the new Comcast Innovation and Technology Center, and in a CBS3 exclusive, we sent our own Victoria Woodle for a taste of the high life. This is what the city looks like from inside the cab of a tower crane. Nearly 1,000 feet above the streets of Philadelphia. An exclusive view looking straight down through the cab's glass floor. This is the nerve center of the crane constructing Philly's newest skyscraper and soon to be tallest building in town. It's kind of like being in your car and just sitting in a, a seat, a regular seat. Eyewitness News is the first station to get this kind of on the job perspective. Behind the controls is veteran crane operator Tom Heenan. Tell me about the first time that you got into that crane and what it was like. It was probably the same feeling you're having right now. I was very nervous. Nervous is the right word. In order to get to Tom for our interview, CBS3 cameraman Will Kenworthy and I, hey, hope this holds, <laughs> suited up with safety harnesses for the ride up. Don't let go. I won't let go. Don't let go. I won't let go. In what is called a man basket. Start cabling up, we'll come off the ground. Designed to carry workers and construction materials. Tom hoisting this basket nearly 800 feet above the street is able to get us just yards away from his cap. Hey, uh, Tom, why don't you stop shaking the basket? <laughs> Not shaking the basket. But for him to get up here, well, it's a heck of a trip. Arriving by elevator to the 34th floor, this Archbishop Ryan graduate heads out onto the catwalk. He starts a 287 foot climb up a series of ladders rung by rung, periodically resting on landings between each stretch of ladder, leading to the cab. Just don't look down, you'll be fine. That's the key. After a 20-minute climb, Tom is in the cab. The crane is powered by electricity. A monitor on board lets him know where the load is. Joysticks help him guide it into place. What exactly is it that you do on a daily basis? We just pick loads off and we put them down here on this deck for uh, our guys to pour the concrete. While most tower cranes are bolted on the ground, this tower crane is attached to the side of the building. Joe Pace is with Anquip's tower crane division, providing the crane for this job. So Anquip engineered and fabricated an outrigger system that actually attached to the outside of the concrete core. Enabling the crane to move up the side of the structure as each floor is added onto the building. This whole operation is pretty much first of its kind. This is the first time it's been done in the U.S. Right now, today, the crane operator is sitting at 780 feet above street level. That is incredible. We're going to top out at 1147 feet in the air. Long before reaching that final height, Tom predicts what that view will be like as he sits high atop the construction of the new Comcast building. It's a million dollar view. People pay to have this view. And from our vantage point, Tom gives us a 360 degree preview. Hey Tom, can you describe what you're doing right now? We're just swinging the crane right. What a sweeping view of our city and its suburbs. This is really once in a lifetime. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, once finished by the fall of 2017, the building will expand Comcast headquarters and become home to the new Four Seasons Hotel. A special thanks to our amazing photographers in the air, Will Kenworthy, yes. and on the ground, James Ward, yes. and <laughs> on site, Amquip, Petrini, the concrete contractor, general contractor, Driscoll, and Liberty Property Trust. These guys treat it like this job is no big deal, but they're responsible for making history in our city oh, and in cities trouble. around the world mm -hmm. they really just you know Tom the cab uh, mm -hmm. the cab mm -hmm. operator he really just treated it like ah it's easy just another day at work. Just another day at work. 900 feet in the air. Special exactly. people that do that kind they of are work. super no special people. It. And everyone on site, all those guys made me feel comfortable. Yeah. They were cheering for me. I mean, it was, Aww. it really was we an too. experience of yeah. a lifetime. I was like, oh my God. Wait, that reminds yeah. me. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I was terrified. gripping the desk. Yeah. I'm sorry. The whole time. I, just I had off. my knees bent and holding on. And I'm like, this isn't helping. <laughs> you are brave, girl. Good Good brave. Thank you. Good Thank you, guys. Oh, that ladder, that rickety ladder. Yeah, no harness in the ladder, Ooh. too. I can't watch that. All right.